It's been quite a tough year, one that required a lot of improvisation and perseverance. And COVID affects all aspects of our lives, but also education. We understand that new ways of teaching also raise a lot of questions. And therefore, in this video, Deans Paul Koenraad and Ines Lopez Artiaga will answer some of the questions. So a warm welcome uh, to the both of you. Welcome, Isolde. Yeah. Thank you, Isolde. And just, just to start with, how did it go so far, both staff-wise, student-wise? Well, I think we can really say that we have had a very crazy and demanding year for everybody, for students, for teaching staff, for supporting staff, everybody in this university. And I'm, I'm really happy to say that I'm very proud actually of what the TOE has been able to arrange and, and how quickly we have picked up changes that we needed to, ac to accommodate for. Um, um, and I think this is also seen by the students. If you look at the surveys, we get uh, very decent reviews of what we do. And we know this is also due to the fact that students expect less at the moment. So yeah, ideally they would go, like to go back to a more normal situation but they do really appreciate what all staff and supporting staff people have been doing so uh, yeah that's actually good news but then i mean we don't know the future we don't know what, what's gonna what's gonna happen next but do you know can you say something about the next semester what's gonna happen yeah on on, on the shorter term and also on campus because we received of course a lot of questions what's gonna happen now yeah, so, so for, the, for the next semester, we will do pretty much the same as for the first semester. So we have said we are an on-campus university, so we try to, to keep uh, doing things on campus, but the, the main uh, educational activity will take place online, so we will uh, do the, the planning in the same way we did for semester one, with the same priorities we established for first year students for online um, uh, small-scale activities, uh, laboratory, that, this kind of thing. And, and, and then uh, for exams, the same thing. So we will uh, keep the same kind of planning as for Q1 in Q2, Q3 and Q4. And of course, we all hear uh, uh, things about uh, that uh, things could improve uh, in the spring. So, so our thinking is we keep the, the regular education uh, plans as they are. And if there is more space to do things on campus, we will facilitate all uh, student activities, like a student association activities, a student team activities, um, bachelor end projects, master projects, so th that students can be on campus as much as possible uh, within the rules that we have then. Yeah, and in, in that respect, let's realize that the biggest hurdle that we have is the 1.5 meters rule. I mean, even if a vaccination program would be successful and, and, and start quickly, to return back to normality, we really need a relaxation of the 1.5 meter rule. Else we're not able to use our facilities in the way that we yeah, normally can use them. So, uh, thinking of never waste a good crisis, what, uh, did you also get some inspiration or what are the good things that oh came yes, up? Oh yes, I think there are certainly things that we have seen uh, that we would like to carry over to the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I see that uh, um, teaching staff has seen actually that Okay, it's imperfect what we have at the moment, but they are much more open to do certain things online or uh, using ICT tools to uh, give education. And I think that's already a big gain from this. But the challenge will be really, uh, yeah, how can we use the good things of what we have now and combine that with the good things that we have from the past and then uh, to develop to uh, an even better future. But it's good to know that we all share our experience and, uh, and do it for the good. Because in the end, it's all about also increasing the quality of yeah. education, right? Yeah. This is one of the good things that comes out of it, I hope. Yes, it is. And it is very much aligned with the vision of the university towards 2030. So everything we are, we are doing now uh, will help us uh, improve the quality of our education uh, in the future. And, and in that respect, I think uh, challenge-based learning already is one of the, 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 the key points in our uh, ideas for the future. But blended learning, which is uh, yeah, a useful combination of online ICT and on-campus in-classroom education, that is something we really have to, uh, to develop and, and that can speed up now, I think, with all the experiences that we see in, uh, in the university. We're going to have a follow-up in January, but now to conclude, do you want to say something uh, finally? Well, I just want to thank everyone for, for the great job they have done eh? and, and wish them a great holiday and, and it's well deserved. We have worked really hard. 
So, so for everyone, just hang in there. We have a couple of hard months ahead of us, but uh, we will make it. We are doing a great job together. Indeed, I think I would like to add to that a really, really big thank you to everyone who has worked very hard in the past year and indeed take some time to relax, put your feet under the Christmas tree and uh, after Christmas, uh, yeah, there's still a, a, a difficult half year, but we will persevere. We will come out of this successfully. All the best and enjoy your time. Yeah, and also thank you for your time and thank you. And as, as said, if you have any further questions, please send them to this address. And next year in January, there will be a follow up for more answers. And for now, I wish you all a happy holidays. Stay healthy and see you next year. Thank you.